it's Tanya again from scrappychicks.com and today I'm bringing you a project share and a tutorial um, what we're doing or what I've done is made paper bows using the Echo Park I used two different kits I used Hello Fall kit from Echo Park and I've used Celebrate Autumn kit from Echo Park so these papers I have been using in fall, pro fall projects. So I just wanted to let you know the paper lines that I've been using. We're going to make them using these cut apart strips that come off the edge of the paper. Those I love. They're great. They're fabulous. Please do not throw those away. These are great. So I'm going to show you how you can turn this into this. Let me see if I'm in frame. These cute little paper bows. Yes. This is one I haven't embellished yet. All these cute little paper bows. So we're going to turn this strip into a bow. I'm going to show you how. Okay. Let me move these out of the way. So we're going to start with... Let me grab my scissors here. We're going to cut the edge off but save this too oh can't wait to show you this save this this is celebrate autumn on the edge and I'll trend that up I'll trend that edge off but it says celebrate autumn you can use that again I have another tutor tutorial coming up where I show you what I do with these awesome yeah that just like gives you a free embellishment so you take it and just snip that off and put it to the side because you can use that too for something else okay I have to sit down to do this can't do this standing up. okay so we're gonna snip these off this one says fall is in the air but I love the colors so we're gonna save those okay I've done a bow tutorial during my Halloween series but I'm going to do another one a paper bow tutorial literally this is so easy so you just on the back side it says four by six journaling cards blah 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 made in the USA that's okay so you're going to flip it over where you see that so you're going to flip it over in half and then you're going to fold the top down top down and that's going to make the letter M okay so once you do that you're going to take your scissors you're going to snip the corners and your little bits are going to go flying across the room let me move this out of the way so it's not in the way okay so what you're going to have you're going to have a straight line with a crease and a V, straight line, crease in the middle, straight line, V with a crease and a straight line. So this part on either side of this crease is, that's going to become your loops. So you just take a bone folder and you curl it. Okay. So you're going to take hot glue. I like using hot glue. You can use regular glue. So you're going to put glue and pinch. And I use a low heat glue gun. When I do paper crafting, there is no need for a high heat glue gun. Low heat is fine. Do not need a high heat. And don't worry about if your loops are a little flat because I'm going to show you how we're going to fix those. Okay, so you glued your two loops. Now, so this is not floppy. See how this is floppy? We're going to remedy that by putting a little dot hot glue and holding it. You don't have to squeeze it. You can just lightly hold it. And the other side, because these are your tails, so you're going to glue your tail to your loop. But you don't have to squeeze it down. Okay, so see how one side's poofier than the other? 
that's okay. You're just going to take it and you're going to push on it to poof it up a little bit. See how that makes it poofy? You're going to take this side and push it. That way you have two loops. Okay, so now the tail of your bow is a little long. So what you're going to do is trim this. And you're going to do what's called a fishtail. So you slice in the middle. And then you V it off. Trim excess. And I'm just eyeballing this. Fishtail in the middle. And V it off. Okay. So there is your little bow right there. All right, let's make another one. Okay, so I have that same cut off. Okay, so you fold it in half. You're going to fold the top part down, top part down. And it's going to form an M, the letter M. Okay, you pick up your M, and we're going to snip the corner. And we're going to snip the corner again. So then, that makes your straight line and your two V's with a crease. A crease in the middle, another straight line, two V's with a crease, and another straight line. And there's this little white line where I didn't quite cut it away from my paper. So I'm going to trim that off because I don't like that white line. Okay. So now you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to round in between the two creases. You're going to round that off. You're going to take a little bit of hot glue. And you're going to hold it for just a minute. It doesn't take long when you're using hot glue. You can use glitter glue. Or if you have a really strong um, other kind of adhesive, you can use that too. Okay, so you got your two loops, but then you got your floppy tail, right? So you want to attach your tail to your bow loop. And you're just barely holding it. You're not squeezing it. You're just barely holding it just to kind of help it to attach to itself. And it, it will adhere pretty fast. Okay, now your tails are too long, but that's okay. I'm going to trim it. So you cut the excess off. Okay, we're going to fishtail it. Cut in the middle, angle, angle. So you cut out a V. Others might have an easier way of doing this. This is just how I do it. Now you have your little little bow using leftovers, using the strip from the paper pack. All right, to add a little more dimension, I like to ink. So I'm using the Memento, and I can't even see the color because I, <laughs> here's what I do. So I use the Tim Holtz um, ink dauber, I guess that's what you call it. And the memento has the perfect spot to hold that. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I love that. So I set it on top, but of course it transfers ink. And then I can't read what color I'm using. This is MD-800, whatever color that is for mementos. I don't know if it's on the bottom. I don't think it's on the bottom. I don't see it. So anyway, <laughs> but it holds my, my ink dab dabber, dauber perfectly. So I'm going to ink the edges because I just like that look. It kind of 
I don't know, it gives it that finishing look, I guess is what I'm looking for. So we're just going to ink this up. You can use whatever color you want. And this is a great project for your, those scrap strips of paper that you have that pile up. Like, for instance, this is my scrap paper bin. <laughs> So all of those little SKU number, I guess these are the, oh, I don't know the correct term for them. I need to look that up. I save all those because then I reuse them. See, look at all this little sentiments I'm going to have. This is Hello Fall. I'm going to use that again on a different project. Here, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Here's one. Look at that adorable pumpkin. It says Celebrate Autumn. Where did that come from? It came from the SKU number strip. See, that's what I did. That's going to be in a different tutorial. Oh, here's one that actually says Hello Fall. See, we use it. It's great. So I have all this stash of strips. These are great for making bows. They're all different sizes. All different sizes. So these are two of the smaller ones. I know I showed you larger ones as well. And I am going to put something in the middle. Let's grab. Um, let's just do a button. Let me find a, a pretty button. I thought I had some buttons out already that I really liked. Um, I'm going to dig. Let's see. That may blend too much. Let's see what other buttons I have. Ooh, I like the red better on that one. This one's too iridescent for me. Let's see what I have for the teal. Let me see. Oh, I like the orange with the teal. That's pretty. Okay, so the others I put stickers on here from, these are leftover stickers from the Celebrate Autumn kit. The paper line I talked about, Celebrate Autumn and Hello Fall from Echo Park. So it comes with paper in the kit. I mean, it comes with stickers that match the paper in the kit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I use stickers on these, but I'm going to do buttons on these. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of hot glue and we're just going to glue that down. And another added texture, level of texture you could do, you could use twine and put it through the buttonholes and tie a bow. You could do that as well. I've done that before. You'll see some of that in my other fall upcoming embellishment tutorials I'm going to be doing where I actually did do that. But with these, I'm just going to glue, glue this down. So now you have a little paper bow that you can use on another project. And of course, I've got other projects coming up that you're going to be able to see how I use these. So I wanted to show you how I did the bow first. So when you see the other embellishments that I make um, using these bows, then you'll know how to make them and then you can use them. Let me put all these in frame. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. I hope my tutorial made sense. Um, this bow tutorial was, I got this from Mama Made It on YouTube. I'll leave a link below. If you want to watch her tutorial, she probably explains it a lot better than I do. But that is where I learned how to make these paper bows was from her. No fancy dyes or anything like that. So, but thank you again um, for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And I will be back with another tutorial soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.